Click on the stair command. Press the spacebar on the keyboard to change the stair reference point. Make it the upper left corner. Click on the A2 axis intersection. Click on the A3 intersection to place your stair. Press the escape key on the keyboard to exit the command. Double click on the stair to enter its settings. Write 1.2 on the stair flight width, 1.8 on the stair flight length, 1.2 on the landing width, 3.9 on the landing length, 1.5 on the landing elevation, and 3 on the stair height. Click the OK button to close the dialog. Select the stair and enter the move command. Place it at the A2 axis intersection by clicking its left corner. Click the end button on the upper right corner of the perspective to see only active story. Double click on the stair. In the handrails tab, choose 13 as the handrail profile and 20 as the baluster profile. Click the OK button to close the dialog. The base story stair is completed. Select the stair and enter the story copy command. In the story copy dialog, mark story 1. Uncheck the erase old entities option and click the OK button. The stairs is copied to the upper story. Go to the story 1 plan page. Double click on the stair. In the construction tab, uncheck draw section line at plan. Click the OK button to close the dialog. Select the stair and click the explode command. The upper story stair is completed. Click on the zone edge command to create the stairwell in the zone. Click on B2 axis intersection, then click on B3 axis intersection. Press the escape key on the keyboard to exit the command. Stairwell is created. Go to the base story plan page. Press the escape key on the keyboard to deselect the stair. Click on the stair command. Click the command show hide railing from the stair toolbar. Click on the outer railings to hide. Press the escape key on the keyboard to exit the command. Stairs and railings are completed.